Good evening. It's Thursday night, the 19th of November, and day 323 of my journey to business alignment. It was another day of living the dream, and I loved it, even though it was another day of becoming familiar with Entrepreneur's platform and how it works. Little hit, little hit, a little hit, a little stuck, a little stuck. Question, question, question. Chat, chat, chat. It was a day of all of that. After learning even more, though, about how to use it and what it can do and how it does things, I'm so excited. My power statement that I wrote out last night for this morning said, I will continue to push myself as I work to get the rest of Entreport membership campaign pieces all set up. There's a lot still to do and that I need to get done so it can... Um, it may be probably until the next couple, three days before I can reach out and take advantage of my two hours of onboarding support. But hopefully by the end of the day tomorrow, I'll be ready to take advantage of them. Anyway, here's my to-do list that I had for today for Thursday. Right there, you saw them all yellowed and checked off and done. Bam, got them done. My most important task today was to finish the welcome email. And particularly, it's the footer that there's been a problem and the picture. Uh, uh, and, and those kind of things. It's all set up and done, but I've got to have the chat person sit here and look into some things and, and get that done. My fun task for today was to finish the PowerPoint of all miscellaneous forms and articles. I had to go in and correct a few things besides um, the worksheets themselves. There's the stories and the articles and, and that kind of thing, and adding that to the PowerPoints of each of the 12 lessons. And my exciting task for today was to follow up with the Ontoport agent to help fix the picture and the footer, like I said. So I'm working on that. That's going to be fun. It was another repeat of chatting with Ontoport chat agents all day long to have them help me work through the remaining issues I'm having with the membership pieces. It's a lot to learn. There's the membership order pages. It's auto response emails and the thank you page and the welcome page and getting those all in order and linked up properly. I wasn't able to get the welcome letter done as it had those issues uh, that the chat helpers helped me with to get those fixed. And it took... Uh, it, him taking it to the next level and we'll see they said they'll have to email me back once they get things figured out so we'll see how that goes anyway let me ask my end of the day success routine questions get honest with yourself Marty what didn't go well today or what could you have done better did you wake up early and start strong I did what about uh, starting your morning with power cold blast when the morning when the day routine absolutely were you productive throughout your day I got all those pieces done and then worked on them and manifest into the uh, world of the physical but there were some issues did you get the most most important things done all but that those picture and that footer at you did you move your goals forward yes I did did you show up as a person you wanted to and that would serve you the best way I did what about your personal time with Kathleen wonderful evening with her tonight she was present for me I was present for her I left it when at 5 30 when I went downstairs I left everything up there mentally and was hers and she was mine throughout the rest of the night next are my end of the day success routine accountability questions were you honest with yourself today's uh, task, Marty. In other words, did you keep your promises that you made to yourself this morning? Well, once again, all I did was promise myself that I would press forward with trying to finish those last few pieces of the membership campaign. They're coming down, they're coming down, but they're kind of stuck here and there. But that's what I press on all day long, learning how to do that and getting that done. And, and then I just ran out of time for the day. And that's what I focused on until the day finished. So good job, Marty. Bam, you got some good things done. The next question is, what movies did you watch during your mindfulness time today, Marty? And did you make time for them? And were there any new instant preplay movies that called up onto the screen of your mind? Well, I not only watched my must-see TV favorite five movies, I also watched a person actually start, fill in, and even finish their member sign-up. And they got their thank you email, as well as the welcome email with their sign up credentials including their password and so they were able to go to the website because it's listed there's where they clicked on it in my imaginations and they landed on that page they clicked on the member login and it opened up the box they filled in those two fields and hit submit and it took them into the private pages and it was all there on the screen of my mind it was so exciting as though it's already done that's the kind of going to the movies I love. My next question says, what's the one thing that would make all the difference going forward? What's the one thing that I can do better tomorrow that'll make the days better going forward? Well, I feel confident that I'll be getting the membership pieces done here really quickly and really soon. And so I'll be calling on my two hours of onboarding help uh, those helpers to help me finish the product orders. Now that we're in, into the private pages where content is and ordering those 12 lessons, that's what they got to help me with. Now I can't take it, have it take a month to get that figured out. So I'm going to use up my two onboarding hours there. Anyway, here's my power statement for tomorrow. 
which is Friday. I'm going to finish up the Entreport membership setup, and then I'll reach out and take advantage of my two hours of onboarding support. Well, the next question, of course, uh, is my end of the day success routine is, were there any mistakes or failures that you may have had today that I can turn into a tool of success going forward? Well, today, again, was the same kind of day the last several days have been where I simply press forward, have get stuck, ask questions of my chat people, and continue to work on that membership piece after piece, get this little fix, this footer done, this font centered, and all that kind of little detailed stuff that I'm learning how to do. And there wasn't really Really any mistakes made it was just a learning process and so any failures was just not knowing what to do and getting a chat person to help me get that all figured out and so that's great it was a learning process day but a great day the next question <clears throat> excuse me is what was your biggest success today Marty in other words what did you do well today well, my biggest success today was all that I got the, done with regard to the welcome email. I got it all finished except that cotton picking footer and how to get that working. What it is, there's four links on there to a policy uh, page and to a terms and conditions page and a website. And then when you put your mouse, it's supposed to change to color white. When you click on it, it opens up. It's not changed to the color white. My, uh, the, so I'm going to get that done. And I can't wait till it's done. Anyway, my next end of the day success routine question asked me to rate my day's effort. I decided to give today another 10. <clears throat> and that's because I worked at the speed of 10 all day. Right up to 5.30, like I said. Today went much faster. I got more done. I remembered where things were and how to uh, do most of the tasks that make things work. But I still have a lot to learn and to remember. And hopefully, I'll be able to remember those and not have to use it very often, then I forgot everything how to use. We'll see how that goes, but that's, unless you use something over and over and over again continually, you kind of, it's like a riding a bike, but it takes a while to get started and tool back up mentally. Okay, I want to end the day strong. Here's what I'm grateful for for today. I'm grateful for the principle that says when you ask the right questions, you control your focus. You control your focus, your right thinking. I'm going to tell a story now of a man who I'll call W. Mitchell or Mitchell. Mitchell was able to survive having two-thirds of his body burned, and he still was able to feel good about his life. Can you imagine that? He was also able to endure an airplane accident later, uh, years later, lose uh, the use of his legs, and he con was confined to a wheelchair and still found a way to enjoy contributing to others. How did he do it, you ask? Well, like I said, he learned to control his focus by asking the right questions of himself. When he found himself in the hospital with his body burned beyond recognition and surrounded by a large number of other patients in the ward who were feeling sorry for themselves, there were patients there who were asking themselves, Why me? How could God do this to me? Why is life so unfair? What's the use of even living as a cripple? Well, Mitchell chose instead to ask himself these kind of questions. How can I uh, use this experience and what's happened? Because of this, what will I be able to contribute to others? Can I find a way to contribute? How will I be able to contribute to others in a useful, productive way? These kinds of questions are what created the difference in destinies. Why me rarely produces a positive result. Well, how can I use this? usually leads one to the direction of turning our difficulties into a driving force to make ourselves and the world a better place. Man, Mitchell realized that being hurt, angry, and frustrated wouldn't change, that's my little reminder there, wouldn't change his life. So instead of looking at what he didn't have, he said to himself, what do I still have? Who am I really? Am I really owning my body or am I something more? something greater. What am I capable of doing now, even more so than before? Aren't those fabulous questions? After his airplane accident in the hospital, paralyzed from the waist down, he met an incredibly attractive woman, a nurse named Annie. With his entire face burned off, his body paralyzed from the waist down, he had the audacity to ask, how could I get a date with her? His buddy said, you're insane. You're deluding yourself. But a year and a half later, he and Annie were in a relationship, and today she's his wife. That's the beauty of asking empowering questions. They bring us an irreplaceable resource, answers and solutions. That's such great information. These principles lead to the next things I'm grateful for, which is the law of faith versus doubt, which simply says, questions determine everything we do in life, from our ability to our relationships to our income. 
For example, many people fail to commit to a relationship simply because they keep asking questions that create doubt. What if there's something better out there? What if I commit myself now and miss out? These are questions from a mind that has what I call the doubter's disease. They are terribly disempowering questions. They keep you from ever enjoying what you already have in your life. Next, I'm grateful for Donald Trump who said this years ago, what's the downside? What's the worst that can happen? And can I handle it? If the answer is I can handle the worst case scenario, then I should go ahead and do the deal because the upside will take care of itself, end quote. Let me alter a thought I have shared by saying, remember, it's not only the, excuse me, it's not only the questions you ask yourself, by the quest, but the questions you fail to ask yourself. Let me start over. Remember, it's not only the questions you ask yourself, but the questions you fail to ask yourself that shape your destiny. Remember, it's not only the questions you ask yourself, but the questions you fail to ask yourself that shape your destiny. In short, a genuine quality of life comes from consistent quality questions because it'll bring back quality answers. Well, here we are again at the end of the night. That's where the reminders to do this. And I am in such a habit, I don't even need that reminder anymore. It's, it's the end of another fantastic day. And so I'll be right back here tomorrow night at my laptop sharing my video journal entry. And until then, though, I wish you continued success. Good night.